might have had it better than me, so y'all help me now. But I was coming up, when you, when you're young, they didn't want you to do anything in the church. That's right. Sit back and, and listen to them say, uh, uh, and say, I'm like, Lord, and you don't want me to do nothing. No, but y'all forgive me now. It just came out. You, you, know, you, you know, they didn't want you to do anything. But so we need ministries. It's, it's all about coming together. It is. It's all about, uh, amen, everybody working out their own soul salvation because, amen, amen. amen, everybody got to stand before the Lord. So we ought to have, we ought to, we ought to have, we ought to pray that God might give us more ministries yes. for young people yes. in the churches today. <laughs> why, 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 Hopkins, why, why are you saying that? I'm glad you asked because statistically 88% of all Conversion occur, conversion means somebody except Christ, occur before age 19. That's right. And you think about that, you, you think about that, you know, you think about it. some of us got some friends in the street. Stop at the convenience store, on the job, everywhere. Some of us got some friends about our age. Mm -hmm. And when you, I mean, everything can be going good, and you start talking about, go with me to church. <laughs> All of a sudden, the continents, their continents change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll see, you'll see them speak, you'll hear them speak, you'll hear them, uh, amen, from, from having a, a calm continence, and then you'll see that their continents, their facial expression change, and then they start verbalizing things. Well, let me tell you why I don't want to go to church. Yeah. And then they start calling people out yes. in the church, and they start saying that the behavior of the people yes. in the church is yes. off track. Am I preaching today? I feel like the Lord give me something here. Something, 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 something ain't right. Hey Amen. Everything is, is, is all right. Until you say, come on, go with me to church. Yeah. Then it start naming folks in your church. Yes. Yes. Good God for yes. the time. We need preaching today. Yes. Folks executing people, cutting heads off right. on national TV. We need some preaching here. Yes. of conversions when somebody come up to Christ, accept Christ in the church, outside the church, wherever. It, 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 it occurs before age 19. What happens? What happens with the guy? What happens? What happens? Amen. For the, the old age, when you get a little bit past 19, what happens? Somebody tell me. 68% between 9 and 14. Think about that. Conversions happen. 68 starts dropping. 80% of school students who graduate, amen, without Jesus will never get saved. You, you, did y'all hear me? 80%, you think about that. And then in the church, we act like we don't want the young folks to do anything. In the church, I can't help it. My well, usher over here, what was my brother name? My brother my quest, I can't help him. If he's smarter than I was, <laughs> uh, I can't help him. I'm not gonna stand in his way. Hey Amen. I'm gonna get with him and all our young people. Motivate them, encourage them. And you hear me talking, y'all ain't listening. Hey Amen. You ain't hearing me. You hear me saying, if I can just get the sound. Yes, yes. You think about it, you need some medicine. That's right. Hey Amen. You might not be afford, able to afford to pay for your medicine. Get some samples. Samples are whole. Yeah. Tell you why to get a little thick. Yeah. If y'all got the friends, you can get some samples. Yeah. I, got, I don't deal with just anybody. I deal with people that can, that can give me some samples. Y'all yeah. ain't y'all. Yeah. Somebody get it.
Maybe I'm talking about me. Somebody help me. Brother Kevin told me, go to school. God will make a way for you.
when none of us go to church or go to heaven. But blaspheming means to live and God has been calling you and you refuse to accept. Mm. As I get ready to open the doors of the church, All right. listen to our scripture verse. It says, remember now thy creator Amen. in the days of thy youth. Amen. Why evil days come now. Nor the years, the year draw now. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Amen. I know I'll be able to get a few amens here. Amen. Amen. The sad thing that all of us that are getting up in age, yeah, right. the sad thing is that we found out that youth, it don't last forever. Amen. But we have found out that life still marches on yes. Yes. with its high demands. And we have to get a touch up every now and then. All right, all right. Somebody might be saying, Pastor, what are you You're talking about a touch up? Well, let me give us a time that we might need a touch up. Yes. And that may give us seven times that we might need one. Mm -hmm. right. First time uh, we might need a touch up. Come on. It's when folks stop asking our age <laughs> and start telling folks our age. It just might be time that we need a touch up. Second time that when we might need a touch up is when we climb 10 steps and think we just got through climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> It's time for a touch-up. Third time that we might need a touch-up. Amen. And when our legs, knees, and shoulders, and back is hurt. And we are laying flat down in our beds. Suppose we're getting some rest. It might be time we need a touch-up. Another time we need a touch-up. It's when we are eating fried chicken <laughs> and we pull the chicken leg out of our mouth <laughs> and our grandbaby asks us a question. Why is your teeth still hanging on the chicken leg? <laughs> Might just need Yeah. 
had died. I said he had died. Jesus came out to the graveyard and he called Lazarus back from the dead. Lazarus, the Bible said that he came for. Stressed him yeah. high yeah. 